Okay, so, okay. How do I do this now? Okay, doesn't matter if it's India, YouTube doesn't make any difference, okay? Okay. Alright, yeah, there we go. I want you to clean that surface nicely, Jimmy will show you how. Okay, Spot a little back. container for this stuff. Uh, I'll say... Um, no, they always no. leak. No matter what I do, I put another <laughs> gasket on a second gasket and we end up having it leak and we're going to drain that the that water out again and... <laughs> Sorry, Claude. This we're reversing off. Where's the water container catch up? Yeah. And that's it. Is that it? Yeah. Wasn't there petrol in that? Why yes. are you taking water out your bike? Yeah, I'm shopping the water out as well. Ah, uh, alright. Keep him busy. Yeah, I'll keep doing that. Yeah. <laughs> While keep doing the oil, you might just not need the water. Okay, so now, JP. There's a shim there. should be a shim there. It's very important. Okay, make sure the shim comes up put in your box, okay? Alright, there you important. go. The shim is critical. If you don't put the shim, it cracks this little porcelain cover and you put the new silver back in. I'm recording you for people's health. Okay, so <laughs> clean, that, clean that area. Sorry, the, I always use a new gasket. Because no, sure. Is, is that, that the only thing you need to do? Okay, Sorry? Is that the only... Uh, for the seal. Yeah, if a, a roadside repair, is it just the gas that needs replaced? Nothing else inside there that... No, no, now we're going to replace the seal. It's going to get How's interesting, interesting for sure. Got a you want a chair? We've got about no, I'm good. Uh, Wearing the uh, oldest jeans I have. Uh, Retrofitted bike. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you call it level. Then it's just going to fade it. And you can actually buy that. Who's got the keys? Ah. Actually, wash your bike cool. occasionally to be able to see these type of things. No, 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 no. Because what if it doesn't drip all the time? It'll just get bigger bottles. Okay, the bottle will be bigger. And we've always been doing it. Yeah, that's Yeah, I'm just going to one time, yeah. Did he give me a yes or no? No. Did he, uh, Patrick, did he, did he say yes or no on the transport? Uh, he was ooing and aahing. Uh. I mean, the two big tips come fast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> but you were, did he say yes or no? Two. You know what I've got parts of the guy saying, keep it, keep it, keep it. I've got nothing to fucking got it. We also see you keep a lot of bikes. Because <laughs> that one with that, what is that, that cloud finish, paint finish has been here forever. The one with that cloud graphic design on it. Yeah. Oh well. Put them on the forum or bid or buy. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you go. Have they got any crash balls on them? <laughs> 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 And you send it to me for powder coating, huh? You do one night you buy the new No, I have to if I'm gonna sell add those crash balls because you buy it, but if I sell these crash balls, I have to replace them with new ones. How do we bend this straight? What is going to be straight? How do we bend this straight? <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're going to have to replace this one. Yeah, I think it's going to be straight. 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 Y
The flag's broke, irrespective. So I just go like that. I just pull it out, okay? This is the easy part. Sorry. Don't mind the people. Also, when you're punching this thing through, that shaft there, you'll see now, you don't want to damage that shaft. It's like damaging your front fork stage. You damage that, now it'll start leaking oil. So now you see I'm going to, I'm going at an angle. This is just a tin plate, eh? Always aware that there's a little plate. But this is such a tight fit, so you battle, battle, battle. Sometimes it comes out easy, sometimes it doesn't. See, I really just want to create a little recess there. Yes. You see you that? You can get in underneath it. So all I'm doing, I'm just cracking. I'm actually just disintegrating this thin little plate. Slowly but surely. This one came out very easy. Sometimes you sit. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just like a little can opener. I'm not worried about scratching this cover because it's just no. the surface cover, okay? This also saves you three hours of work. Because <laughs> I had a guy down the job, went down the Cape, this uh, thing popped, he took his clutch cover, I said, whatever you do, young stuff, you do not take the clutch cover off because you're going to damage this gasket. No, 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 he finally said, I'll damage the gasket. I said, well, you fucked. Yeah, I came out Well, the bike came every clutch, you see, because he went and taken the gasket off and put sealant and closed up all the oil channels and it cost him 18 oh, grand. Oh. He said, just leave it alone, okay? Yours came out very easy. Mm. Now that's the... Well, so this whole thing is part of it, Cloudy. When you that buy the water pump right? mechanical seal, that's the whole unit. Yeah, yeah. And that's supposed to be glued in there so it's sealed, okay? Okay, glue, glue. Right? But no, but the factory one comes already, okay? But I just... Right. But I rip it. Now that's All my right. oil seal. That All the time, I don't want to damage the shaft, okay? It looks already in bad condition. No, because I've actually punched it, you see? That comes out easy. Now you're going to take the scrunch and I'm going to give you some lubricating oil. And I want you to spray a lot of oil in there. See, there, there's your lip. You see your lip there? Yeah. See that silver lip? Uh. That's your lip that you don't want to damage. Okay. Throw that away. Now you're going to take this thing, get a chair, I'm going to give you some penetrating oil. You're going to clean. Okay. I want you to clean this shaft, that surface. Okay. And in inside. there and have fun, okay? Uh, have fun. <laughs> and okay, have I'm fun. I'm going to do this, So what I do, I'm not really worried about that, okay? Can right, you so that you cloth there? it up like a mother? Yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to pop that little spring off. So what I do is, I, and I find a suitable socket or a launch tool that you, because remember I've got to press this in, eh? Okay. So I put a bit of grease on just to ease it, yeah. but it doesn't pop the spring off. Okay. Because otherwise you're back to ground zero. Alright. Okay, where's that little hammer again? Hammer was there like... See, but it's almost in, because you see that... What size socket is that? How do you know it's almost in? Um, 14. 14. 14. But you can have to use a socket. If okay. you look very carefully, Claudia, yeah, there's almost like a little... Can you see that shiny silver above the black seal? Yes. Can you see a little it's shiny like thing? There's a little uh, a shoulder. A shoulder. So it's basically, I just push it in. Okay, you can do it. And I'm in. Yeah. Huh. Okay, simple as that. Because what will happen is that this water pump mechanical seal will push it through <coughs> anyway. Okay, that was good to Jimmy. Okay, part. so you basically prime it into position. Then. Yeah, but lubrication, because you don't want to damage the lip of the seal and that spring comes off. Because then you've got you to break this water pump seal to get the oil seal, irrespective. So if you put the oil seal in wrong, you bug it. Okay. Okay, now the mechanical seal. Okay, this is very fragile. Okay, I'll pull it off and I don't know what the seal is like. It's a ceramic, I think, that they're using. Yeah, most likely yeah. ceramic. Yeah. So I just call it porcelain. But you just look at it, it cracks. Um, yeah, I know. Just don't look at it. it. Nobody looks. Yeah. Don't look, this don't one look. you put into the impeller. So there's the impeller one. Okay. And you just put it straight in, okay? Alright, so like this. Now, to damage this black facing surface, you've got to just touch it and it basically cracks. Okay? Because okay. it, it's so fragile, okay? That looks like. I just it looks like carbon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a solid carbon. Graphite. Ring. Yeah, graphite. Yeah. It would be very brittle. Yes, I'm not paying for it. So now, to reset this thing. Yeah, these are 19, so it's really good. Uh -huh. Okay, now to recess this thing, guys take screwdrivers because this has to go into there. Is that like glue yeah. or something? It's like a little self sealing thing already. Alright. But guys use flat screwdrivers, but you end up putting this thing in skew and you, pu you punch it. Okay. So what I do is I position it. Okay. Okay, so it's in position. Move for a sec. Now what I figured out uh -huh. is I need a socket to go over it. 
So you can't use a six sided twenty two because it touches the oh, four cylinder. It makes the edges. Okay, so are you buy a twelve sided twenty two? Okay. That explains it. This Perfect. is the only time I use this one yeah. This also fits your dog bone bones, yeah. Twenty twos of the but buy yourself you need to drop this your yeah. linkages when you're we'll strapped out on the road. Bone to a dog. So buy yourself <laughs> a twenty two socket. You can't use a much anywhere else, but but it must be a twelve sided one. Okay. It's the perfect tool to install this. Because you see I've got it in there, but I want to position it nicely. Okay? And what I do is I just check, 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 check all the time. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. They can go ski doing But see, this whole thing actually just surfaces it. Yeah, and you can hear it. A perfect, that's actually wonderful tool. Mm -hmm. 12-sided 22 socket. If you ever buy these kits, make sure you buy it. Because you, you don't find a 12-sided 22 socket in any shop. Yeah. The door usually makes them. Yeah, but I mean, if you're out in uh, yeah. the state, something like that, now the girl says, oh, good, 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 good. But see, it can't be too big a socket because it won't fit over that area. But the 22 12 sided is custom fitted, and I never break those things because you use any other thing to try and put it on, you're going to crack it. Mm. I don't know how you figured this out. Uh, <laughs> lots, of broken, <laughs> lots of broken shit. Breaking the breaking the breaking the music flash to try to make a tool and costing me money because I can't charge you for three water pump shells. Okay? Mm. But every time I supply a guy a water pump shell, I tell you what, guaranteed the guy will say, Oh, uh, can I have another one, please? I've just broken mine. Okay, where's that shim? Now, that shim is the most important part. Don't ever confuse it with a washer, okay? Okay. Most important, if you leave the shim out, the pressure will actually crack that again. Yeah. Huh. You put the shim on, okay? Because that yeah. gives us very important. The and the you take some antifreeze, fresh antifreeze, uh -huh. do that surface, yeah. and you put this on. Where's your antifreeze? Let's just and if you don't have antifreeze, you're not carrying antifreeze with you? Piss on, Piss on it, yeah. Like Vodka. Vodka. Yeah. Cokes and cold drinks aren't very good because they obviously sugar based, okay? Yeah. But you just want to, you want to, you know, I don't know why, the manual says pre lubricate this thing. Not in the newer manuals, but in the old Kalos 600 manual it says pre lubricated. To me, lubrication, I've got a small cock, so it doesn't actually make it. There's always time for lube. Now it can go on anyway, but I just turn it on clockwise. Okay, it's a screw zone. Anti clockwise or anything, shit. No. Because the thread's clockwise, you see, oh. so it actually just helps itself. Close that anti freeze for me. Mm -hmm. Now, I need the washer, please. This is your gasket for just now, okay? Okay. I always just put new gaskets because you, you have to end up draining the anti freeze, mm -hmm. like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, this thing. If you over tighten the shaft, there's a torque set into it, but I don't bother anymore. You can snap the shaft, this water pump shaft. Then it becomes a big job because now you've got to, you've got to take both side covers off to replace well, the shaft. torque because I've got a torque wrench here just for that case. Look in your manual quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Actually, don't know. Anyway, so but, but you should actually, but what I do is you can turn it, turn it, turn it. The golden rule is. Because we use antifreeze, the shaft never corrodes. If we yeah. throw in water, they corrode and they snap off. Yeah. So what I do is I turn it until I can actually turn the piston. Huh? And listen that to the motor. Can you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear that? That's it. But I don't go more than that. Did you hear the motor? Yeah. Yeah. Because this runs, the balancing chain runs onto the crank, onto the piston. So I don't oh. go more than that because I'm scared I'm going to snap it. Done. Finished clock. That's it? That's it. This is the big thing. 22, buy yourself one, strap it under your seat if ever you buy one of these kids. Okay, that's definitely the way to go. Thank you very much.